In this video, we're going on a DIY walking tour of Intramuros including Fort Santiago. So we're here at Intramuros. We'll just walk around. We'll do our DIY walking tour. You may download a map with the places of interest to guide you. So we started our tour at the Manila Cathedral. Pumasok muna tayo sa Manila Cathedral. Tingin natin kung anong nasa loob. The first cathedral was built in 1581 but it was damaged by a typhoon. It was rebuilt several times since then. Magkakaroon na ng mass so hindi na tayo papasok para hindi na tayo makigulo. Uh, but pero pwede naman kayong pumasok. In front of Manila Cathedral, you will find Plaza de Roma with the statue of King Charles IV of Spain. Also in the area, you will find Palacio del Gobernador or Palace of the Governor. At present, it is used as the office of government agencies such as Commission on Elections. Okay, so from Manila Cathedral and Palacio del Gobernador, uh, magalakad naman tayo. From Manila Cathedral and Palacio del Gobernador, you can just do a short walk to Fort Santiago. Konting lakad lang from Manila Cathedral, makakarating tayo sa Fort Santiago. So, papunta na tayo ng entrance. For access to Fort Santiago, you'll have to pay the regular rate of 75 pesos or discounted rate of 50 pesos for senior citizens or persons with disabilities. Inside, you will see Plaza Moriones, which was originally called Plaza de la Fuerza or Plaza of the Fort. It was built as a military parade ground of Fort Santiago. Nandito kami sa Plaza Moriones. Um, before, dito daw ginagawa yung military drills. This is named after Governor General Domingo Moriones. That you were someone I can pull I get the right of a mess and things are similar to King for this body make me feel like you Now you tell me that you want to leave me Though that I just can't let me Next stop, we will find the ruins of the Almacenes Reales, which is just beside the Plaza Moriones. The royal warehouses were built in 1591 and used as storehouses for goods unloaded along the Pasig River. From Plaza Moriones, we're now walking towards Fort Santiago. But before we reach the gate, we will pass by this moat and bridge. This man-made canal joined the Pasig River and Manila Bay, making Fort Santiago a formidable fortress island. Ayan, papasok na tayo sa Fort Santiago. Dito tayo sa loob ng Fort Santiago, we're here at Plaza de Armas, which is the central plaza within Fort Santiago used as open space for military drills. Ayan, pinabasa ko lang siya. <laughs> okay, so we're going inside the Raja Sulaiman Theater. We're now entering the Raja Sulaiman Theater. 
This was originally constructed as a military barracks in Sacuarto Escuela, a school for petty officers during the 18th century. This was also the site of the chapel cell where Dr. José Rizal, our national hero, spent his final evening before his execution on December 30, 1896. This was destroyed during the Second World War but converted to an outdoor theater in 1967. This place is historically very significant, particularly during the last days of Dr. José Rizal. On December 30, 1896, José Rizal, our national hero, made his final walk from Fort Santiago to Bagumbayan, where he was executed. So that's the last walk to Martyr Dam Trail ni Dr. Jose Rizal, but it's closed. So we're going to Postigo de la Nuestra Señora de Soledad. This postern or small gate was once used as an escape route during instances of siege or emergency, such as during the Seven Years' War when Governor Simon de Anda escaped the British following this route. And here, you will also see the Pasig River. This public promenade was opened in 2017, but historically, it served as a war for the army. After the Second World War, about 600 decomposing corpses were found at the dungeon. Those who died in the dungeons were buried in this mass grave, which is now marked with a white marble cross. Heroes died in these hallowed grounds, so as visitors, we are expected to conduct ourselves with dignity and respect. Ayan, kakatapos lang namin dito sa dungeon of Fort Santiago. Dito yung mga prisoners of war noong World War II. So, ang daming namatay. And according to the guard na guide din, um, after the World War II, yung mga nakasurvive, pinadlak pa nung mga Japanese yung dungeon. Na may, actually, may tubig sa loob. Eh. So, mas marami talagang namatay. 
We will now go inside the Lego Museum inside the Baluarte de Santa Barbara. Here, you will find several architectural scale of churches made with Lego bricks. So, ito yung Lego Museum inside for Santiago. Meron palang fair dito sa baba. We also went inside the Dambanang Rizal sa Fort Santiago. Jose Rizal's birthday was June 19, so there was also an art fair. We also went inside the museum, but video taking was not allowed. Okay, so nasa labas na tayo ng Fort Santiago. Ayan, so punta naman tayo. Nasa Intamuros pa rin tayo. So punta naman tayo dun sa ibang area. Okay, so next stop, punta kami ng La Catedral Cafe. Try naman namin doon. Sobrang pawis na pawis na ako. Okay, so dyan yung La Cathedral Cafe. Pero mukhang marami sa ako. Waiting pa siya. So we're not willing to wait. So hanap nila kami ng iba. By the way, we only park in the street in front Bahay Chinoy in Anda Street. So it's parked at your own risk. But there are also other parking spaces. While looking for a restaurant, we walked along General Luna Street. Here you will find the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines or CBCP as well as the San Agustin Church. If you like taking photos, then Real Street is the place to be with its cobbled stones. This is also where Casa Manila is located. To complete our Intramuros experience, we decided to eat at Ilustrado Restaurant, which is housed in a colonial building. To go there, you have to pass through this area. You can just imagine the Kalesas passing through here. Okay, so here in 
Mercado uh, half hour day walking in Intramuda. Siguro so, nag-ibu to check ka sa Manila. But, um, kasi nag-spend kami ng time sa Port Santiago. Okay guys, so Nakatapos na namin mag-dinner uh, Maglalakad lang kami Going to the parking lot We just parked near Bahay ng Chinoy Sa malapit lang din Doon malapit sa La Cathedral Cafe And also um, Gabi na, so makita natin yung lights Kanina nakita natin yung intramuros sa umaga. Ngayon naman, ito yung sa gabi. Thank you for watching my vlog. If you like it, Please press subscribe and like.